Sony ain't gonna be, be, be at E3 this year? Who cares though, Sony? Oh, wait, Twins, baby, they are the best! Woo! And today, I had the pleasure of watching the Sony State of Play. I've been looking forward to this all weekend because Sony was going to have their own kind of like a Nintendo Direct on YouTube. Something to basically remind us of the fact that even though the PlayStation 5 is coming, we still have a lot of great reasons to be excited for owning a PlayStation 4. I was super hyped for the state of play, like extremely excited. And a lot of that comes from the fact that I love Nintendo Directs. Ready to get hype. Uh, you said their replacement for E3. Do you think this is their replacement for E3? Do you think that it's going to be direct where we get multiple times through the year? Yes, I think it's that. I mean, they said earlier that, that you know, they're not going to do any event around E3. E3 and yeah. I took that as even meaning like a showcase of, of sorts. Like they, they're like, we're going to stay away from that. I think that that's a smart call. Like kind of own the, the moments, make your own moments throughout the year. Um, it, this is going to be. What is this? Hey, suit up now. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Whoa! Nah! 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 Yo! Nah! Oh, this is the. Oh, are you kidding me? Really? Oh! Is that. Is that Iron Man? Oh, no! I am. Oh, my God! Oh, my God! What? What is this? Is this like the Spider-Man game? Because that was a great, they did a great job with that game. Oh, it's a VR thing, okay. Oh, you guys. Yeah. It was clearly a VR oh, thing. It felt VR. It kind of looks lame. <laughs> no, this is like a VR, VR thing. This don't, this don't look lit. <laughs> this don't look lit. It's a VR game. It's gonna be a VR game, son. <laughs> stop, 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 stop. It's a VR game. Kind of clean. You play as Iron Man in this game? The book. VR? Oh, it's I O V R. Uh, this is how you open it up, man. This is the first episode of the State of Play. It's cool. I mean, no, it's a big deal, but we already knew about. It. No, the, the low poly mode is new. Yeah, I already saw that though. Okay, here we go. I'm gonna do my part. <laughs> what is Kyle I hope this is the end of the VR stuff though. Five Nights at Freddy's VR, Help Wanted, is the first virtual reality game in the Five Nights universe. And it's coming to PlayStation VR this spring. So is this just like a VR presentation? Wow, I'm a nope out of all of that. Hell no. Uh, I feel nothing. Here we go, Last of Us, please. Before we go, let's get one more update from the gang at NetherRealm Studios. This is like the coolest part of the whole presentation. Well, that's a wrap on our very first episode of State of Play. This was just the beginning. We'll be back throughout the year to share new announcements, first look trailers, and other updates from the world of PlayStation. See you soon, and thanks for watching. No Final Fantasy. About the year to share new announcements, no, no. first look trailers, and no, other no, updates no. from the world of PlayStation. No, one more thing. See you soon, and thanks for watching. State of Play. Mm. This was just the beginning. We'll be back throughout the year to share new announcements, first look trailers, and other updates from the world of PlayStation. 
See you soon, and thanks for watching. Ooh. That left a nasty taste in my mouth. Mm. That was a... That was nasty. Hmm. That was a bit anticlimactic, if I'm being honest. Well, uh... There you have it, folks. That was, um... Underwhelming? Uh, to say but the least. my god, all weekend waiting for this, and it was over like that. I'm like, that's it? Is it? There, there's no more? I just got done watching the Sony State of Play conference, and to say I'm a little bit shocked would be an understatement. That was so totally underwhelming. So coming from the perspective of someone who enjoys Sony, who enjoys the games they bring to the players, I gotta say, this State of Play was, if you had to sum it up in one word, embarrassing. First one, this first State of Play presentation was kind of weak. And the first event just happened and well, there were some problems. <laughs> there were some big problems with the event. Thank you, Sony. Thank you very, 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 very much because today in your State of Play presentation, you undoubtedly, positively confirmed me that this thing right here means Nothing! It means absolutely nothing this year! Because you still have nothing for this system! What the hell was that, Sony? What in the actual heck was that? We had like two game announcements. A big one, obviously, is Iron Man. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> so, like, imagine being I Iron Man. Right now. Right now. Like, like, imagine being Iron Man, how fun that would be. They just showed us flying through class. They showed nothing. We just yeah. were in the clouds. There's no story. Shooting yeah. at, shooting at shooting or protecting a plane? And the, yeah, it was yeah. so weird. Like, why just show that? That's not what we want to do if we're getting to be Spider- or sorry, I, Iron Man. I want to go off on that Iron Man. Go <laughs> off? Yeah, that's appropriate. Yeah. Oh my god, Insomniac. Did they let Insomniac start on an Iron Man game? There's no way in hell they should be this far into production. And that's exactly why, because it's not Insomniac, it is Marvel Iron Man VR. I was, I was a little hurt by that one. Originally, it was just gonna be an Iron Man game. People got really excited. They said, oh, this is gonna be great. It looks like Iron Man. Maybe it's kind of like in the same idea of Spider-Man, but with Iron Man instead. No, it's, it, it's a VR game. It's just Iron Man VR. But definitely one of the biggest problems with this was just how disappointing it was. And if you guys watched my video talking about what I was expecting from this event, I obviously had my expectations very low. But yeah, this was not great. This, this, I came here with like middling expectations, but it it even fell short of that. Is uh that kind of sucked. For first impressions, this is the first episode. When you say that you're gonna skip E3 and then uh, give the announcements that you're gonna do like state of plays, you're gonna do uh, episodes. We don't even know how many episodes you're gonna do per. Ye uh, this year. Are you going to do like at least once per month or once every season? We don't know how this is going to go, but uh, the reception for this is going to be awful. I, I find the differences of human experiences are very interesting to me because all of you are like super days gone and I like watching that trailer I was like this looks fucking terrible. <laughs> <laughs> like I, I don't want to play it's, a game it's, it's less. I'm, I'm excited for more come at 11, but What's weird here is they ended with that. Mortal Kombat 11 stuff I've pretty much already seen on Twitter. I don't think it was exclusive to the state of play, so that's kind of embarrassing. Weird way to end it. But again, they were focusing on games you can get in the next couple of months, so I understand that. But the problem is that makes for a very boring show. I just, I really was expecting for this first one, this first state of play, was gonna set the tone, essentially. This is what all state of plays are gonna need to be like. And if you're coming out and saying that you're gonna be doing a big show, I expect a little bit more than this. When it comes to VR, don't nobody want that shit! We don't want it! Stop cramming it down our damn throats! We don't want it! No! Just seeing an entire press conference dedicated to that is just kind of... Well, it's odd to me, since I still think that that's a pretty small part of their fan base. You wasted half of my- the whole time! You wasted our entire t 
time off of VR and all these other stuff that we already knew about? You didn't have a PSX last year. You're not going to be an E3 at any type of capacity whatsoever. Then you trot out right after Google Show Stadia and announce this state of play and this is what you show me. This is what you show me. You show me that. This thing right here means absolutely nothing. Everyone in the chat was like, that's really it? That's it? I, I couldn't believe it. It ended so quickly, so so curt. It was just like, that's it. That's it. That's, we're done. And, and they just ended it. And then they showed a guy talking about how, thanks for watching, we hope to keep making more of these. It was, it was pathetic. It was pathetic. It was embarrassing. It was something that Sony really needs to go back to the drawing board for to make sure when they do one of these, they have a reason for it. Y'all was going to do something spectacular today. Blow our minds. Give us a major announcement. Something for everybody to get excited about. Where was Death Stranding? We got no information about that game. We also got no information about The Last of Us 2. In fact, this particular state of play focused on games that you'll be able to play in the next couple of months. And the problem is there's just not very many exciting games coming out in the next couple of months. But I wasn't expecting big things, but I was expecting basic things. Things that I think everyone in the PlayStation community wants to know about. Sort of like Death Stranding, release date for that, information on that, gameplay on that, anything about Death Stranding. There was no Death Stranding at this event, okay? So no Death Stranding at the event. Well, what about The Last of Us 2? Did we get any information on that? Any sort of gameplay, any look at the multiplayer of it, a release date for that? No, no, there wasn't one of those either. They actually showed so little stuff, I was able to write down every single game they showed and extended details about it just because it was such a lackluster presentation. That god dang name. There's something about state of play I just don't like. It doesn't have a ring to it. Like, if I type it on Twitter, like, oh, this freaking state of play was hype. You see what I'm saying? Like, it Now, the state of play was live streamed on the official PlayStation channel, but that actual live stream seems to have been deleted for some reason. Not entirely sure, but they did upload it as a video as well. That video now has 152,920 views, and if you look at that like and dislike ratio, it looks like the people who watched it or have watched it since uh, definitely did not approve of it either. What was the point of it? They could have literally not announced this and let everyone be, and everything would have been good. Hot garbage. <laughs> Hot poop. That shit was terrible. <laughs> they didn't even have to. They didn't even have to have. Uh, listen, it's Nintendo Directs that's been better than that. Straight up, straight up. They were trying too hard to keep up with the Joneses. Trying too hard to have their own moment like Nintendo continues to do, knocking the Nintendo Directs out of the park time and time again. But they came to the ballpark and they forgot to bring their bats with them. They couldn't swing anything. There was nothing there. It was terrible. And this is a funny little tidbit, by the way. So many people were making the comparison to the Nintendo Directs on Twitter that Nintendo Direct was uh, trending at the same time State of Play was on Twitter. Yeah, definitely not the desired effect. That's hilarious. The biggest disappointment of 2019 so far. Sony, get your act together. This can't be real, man. It's gotta be. It's gotta be some type of, some type of trick or some type of troll.